In the 1980s, technology allowed the airline industry to slim the cockpit from three seats down to two, with airline dispatchers on the ground stepping up to fill in some of the gaps. NASA is now investigating, taking the concept one step beyond, with the first officer moving to the ground as well. Ground, in this case, is a high-tech workstation with new tools that allow a super dispatcher to take on multiple roles. NASA researchers explain. I'll show you here the uh, super dispatch mode. In this mode, the ground operator is managing uh, maybe a dozen different aircraft and responding to their various requests and uh, providing services on an as-needed basis. Uh, there are multiple tools in this mode, and uh, Vern can show you some of these. Yeah. Okay, so uh, in the super dispatch mode, basically, as Walt said, the uh, dispatcher is monitoring a number of aircraft for a particular airline, and so they are looking at those aircraft and looking at their positions uh, relative to their goal states and where they're going, what their requirements are, and if there are any modifications to their flight trajectories that need to be made, they can recommend those to the captain. So in the super dispatch mode, uh, we are able to actually look at individual aircraft, look at their actual flight trajectory, and determine whether that aircraft needs to, its rot needs to be modified. And as you can see, this one is not going to any of the weather elements or the uh, turbulence boxes, and so the flight plan does not need to be modified. But the super dispatcher does have tools to allow them to be able to make those modifications. Uh, as you saw, I select this aircraft from what's called the air traffic, aircraft control list. This list is a list of all the aircraft with their particular information that the dispatcher can go in and look at and uh, reference the aircraft, talk to the captain about any other requirements. Also, you can see the status of the aircraft green uh, being normal and then uh, yellow or orange being in some sort of alerted mode or a pending mode. Uh, once the super dispatcher selects an aircraft, they can actually look at the flight controls for that aircraft. So we have the, uh, the navigation display, primary flight display, fuel in instruments, and the aircraft's MCP with all of the status. The aircraft is now in LNAV and VNAV and flying uh, in autopilot. The concept becomes more intriguing when a captain needs help in the cockpit, or perhaps needs to handle a situation in the cabin. Next, we're going to look at the uh, ground operator operating as a first officer. This occurs when the captain on the flight deck determines that he needs dedicated first officer support. That is, he needs the person on the ground to be able to do everything that a first officer would do, and to report to him as a first officer on board would. When this happens, he contacts the ground operator and says that this aircraft, his aircraft, is requesting dedicated support. Berm will okay. show how this. Okay. Um, once the captain calls down and asks for dedicated support, then the flight dispatcher uh, selects the aircraft and selects dedicated support for that aircraft. At that point, all the other aircraft that the uh, ground dispatcher was monitoring or managing are handed off to other dispatchers. And now the ground dispatcher can become a dedicated first officer. The first officer, the ground dispatcher reports into the captain as a first officer and they coordinate their activities so that the, um, that the captain can assign the duties of the first officer as either flying the aircraft or managing the actual subsystems, which would be like entering information into the CDUs or talking with air traffic control. Uh, if the uh, captain wants the first officer to fly the aircraft, then we have some tools that allow the uh, first officer to take control of the aircraft. The captain would give the aircraft to the first officer and the first officer would say, okay, I am now flying the aircraft. And uh, I would report back to the captain, I have the aircraft and the captain would say, okay, you have the aircraft and I have the other duties that you were doing, talking to air traffic control, putting information into the CDU. As the first officer flying the aircraft, I have access to all of the instrumentation just as I would on board the aircraft, my primary flight display, nav display, uh, MCP, and CDUs for entering new information and also for managing all of the subsystems.